Hi everyone! Welcome to Feed the Teaching. My name is Sergio and she is not here. What's happened to her again? El! El! Ah, ah, good morning, teacher Sergio. Good morning, El. So what's happened to you today? Ah, very sorry, but my cat jumped off of the window. Uh, I see, I see, I see. But your sentence still have a small mistake. Ah, again? Mm. Mm. So, today, let's talk about ending a sentence with a preposition. Prepositional phrases and wordiness and unnecessary prepositions. Mm, okay. Mm. Before we start the class, if you like our videos, please subscribe and like our channel to receive our updates. Thank you! Thank you! Well, ending a sentence with a preposition. At one time, school taught students that the sentence should never end with a preposition. This rule is associated with Latin grammar, and while many Aspects of Latin have made their way into English. There are times when following these particular grammar rules creates unclear and or awkward sentences structure. Since the purpose of writing is to clearly communicate your ideas, it is acceptable to end a sentence with a preposition, if the alternative would create confusion or it is overly formal. Example, the car had not been paid for. Ends with a preposition, but is acceptable. Unclear revision, pay for the car had not been. Unclear sentence. Example, I would like to know where she comes from. Ends with a preposition, but is acceptable. Overly grammatical revision, I would like to know from where she comes. Grammatical, but overly formal. Nobody actually speaks like this. However, in academic writing, you may decide that it is worth revising your sentence to avoid ending with a preposition in order to maintain a more formal scholarly voice. Example. My research will focus on the community the students live in. Revision. My research will focus on the community in which the students live. Example, I like the people I'm working with. Revision, I like the people with whom I'm working. Prepositional phrases and wordiness, like with pronouns, too many prepositional phrases can create wordiness in a sentence. Mm -hmm. Example. The author chose the mixed method designed to explain that the purpose of the study has to explore the leadership quality of the principals in the schools as a mean to gauge teacher satisfaction in the first year of teaching. This type of sentence could be shortened or condensed to ma minimize the prepositional phrase and bring clarity to the writer's intent. Revision. The author chose the mixed method designed to explore the principal's leadership quality and the impact on the first year teacher satisfaction. Unnecessary preposition. If the preposition is unnecessary, leave it out. 
this create more clear and concise writing. Example, where are the plates at? Revision, where are the plates? Example, she jumped off of the balance beam. Revision, she jumped off the balance beam. Mm -hmm. Well, for today that's all. We hope that information has helped you to understand a little more. If you have any question or remark, feel free to let us know by a comment. Thank you. Remember to like and share our videos. Bye-bye.